Okay, in this video we're going to implement the move command and uh, let me just show you how it works. If I run the game uh, and I type look, you can see that I've got exits north and west and I'm in a peaceful glen. So I'm going to type move north and it says you leave north and I'm at the Shattered Castle and a large entryway to the north. I can see there's an exit north again. So I'm going to type move north and it takes me to beneath a ruined archway and something appears to have gone wrong there. Let's see, what I'm going to type look and see where I am. I'm a ruined courtyard. Move south. Okay. I'm just checking this now to see if it works. Move west. That should take me to the drill mine. Move south. Drill mine shaft. So I'm able to move around my map. I'm um, just using this move command. Let's talk about how I implement that. Okay, here's the move command. Um, it's basically accepts a string array. If it's one, move where. Um, if it has a length of two, we're going to check to see. Uh, we're going to loop through all the rooms, and we're going to use this basic, you know, uh, concept here. We're going to check to see if the room number is the same as the room you're in, and we're going to grab the room that you're in. Then we're going to loop through all the exits in your room. Now remember, the exits consist of um, a couple of different things. The exits consist of a, uh, a word south and then a number, the room they link to. All right? And so we're going to loop through all the exits, and we're going to load it into each one is going to get loaded into a string. Okay? And then we're going to split that string by spaces. So the first uh, the array position 0 is going to be the word south, for example, and array position 1 will be the number 2. All right? Um, looks like this exit array is going to have three positions in it. Uh, and it looks like 1 in this case is the word, and then array position 2 is going to be the number that it links to. And so we're going to check to see if the user typed the word south, does it equal, you know, it does that exit exist in the room, right? And then we need to parse the second one because it's going to return that as a string to an integer, right? And so exit array 2 is actually a number. Well, we parse that to an integer, all right? And then we set the PC to whatever room that is. So if the exit south exists, Okay, it's in the room. Well, let's put place the player into that room now. Okay, and then we're going to print you leave south. All right, and then I create this string array called bad programming. This is one of my favorite string arrays in the game. And it's just a string array that has one position. And I set it equal to nothing. And then I just call look so that look will work and it will just show you what room you're in now. All right, and move is that simple. So take a look at it, get your move command in, and you should be able to walk around your map at this point. Uh, and again, uh, you need to add inside of your, you know, we've got this process command method going where we're processing all our commands. You need to add one for move as well. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about threading, and we're going to make the map auto-populate with monsters in specific rooms so that if you kill a monster, it will regenerate after a certain amount of time.